Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our uh, journey in Tiltran Country where we're trying to survive in the darkest of medieval challenges. Our war party is still trying to make their way through all of this. Now, I rebooted the game after finishing yesterday and uh, we were not engaged uh, with uh, the fight anymore. I just paused it on the world map. Uh, effectively the situation is uh, apparently the autosave save five or ten seconds before we got jumped on so what we're going to do is we're going to rush over here and are trying to go to strom camp uh, the enemy party is down there i'm going to take any gift that i could get at this point there is uh, there is no such uh, thing as bad rng with been screwed over quite a bit in the last episode so I don't feel bad in in just going and bypassing them what I do feel bad for is our absolute lack of uh, crones so we will need to do do something very very soon and that something is either going to be crafting or some other form of noticeable uh, production because we will uh, definitely need something that is worth that is uh, worth enough to sell it so here we're missing rope here we're missing rope as well i like the idea of having a tent which means we're just crafting to rope let's go with that and whilst we're at it i think the tent can be crafted as well jp Pauly became a tinkerer apprentice that's cool i like it good Everybody who is assigned here gets an additional plus one during each rest whilst here we're creating happiness So the question is do we want Valor points or do we want something else? I like the idea of Having Valor um, Valor points because they seem to be very very helpful during combat <clears throat> Also, I'm just realizing that we can get another knowledge skill so either running which is good i think we're maybe going for that restoration which isn't bad either increase uh, increase by one the number of missions you can accept oh that's not bad either increase by number the missions that are displayed as bounties Recruitment cost reduction. Nah, I think we at the moment we do have quite a few issues just with um, with our economy. Blacksmiths, uh, weapons, iron studded maze, fal falcon, reinforced plate armor. I tell you what, that does not look too bad. The question is, yeah, maybe we're actually learning some of uh, that. Okay, and here we could learn additional recipes as well. Whilst here, we're just, yeah, learning uh, general uh, general tactics. What I like about the game is it makes it difficult. There is no right or wrong way. I think for now we're going with the apprentice um, apprentice armor because this here looks like a massive upgrade to anything that we're having, but it requires a lot of iron ore. So the name of the game will be to get ore, plenty of ore. currently in a really tough shape after we have lost against the rat <clears throat> so 
all I want to do is to fish a little bit, get some food, and that'll be it. Very good. The fishing, by the way, also is a fun concept. The game really found a lot of cool mini games just to survive. At the moment, it's not all about fighting because we are getting our asses handed to us at, at this point. We need to get the right equipment and one of the biggest problems that I have so far is we're not finding enough material just to get along, let alone fight our way out of here. Cool, more knowledge. I'm wondering... Iron, two-handed hammer, two-handed axe, great falcon, longbow, iron dagger, iron spear. That might be something. I mean, we could definitely uh, get a bow upgrade, but the problem is, here's the thought process. We anyways need the iron for um, our armor upgrade. <clears throat> so let's forget about the weapon upgrades for now. A good recipe would not be, ba uh, would not be bad at all. Can I see what they are made out of? Grilled carp might... We're, we're fishing regularly, so let's maybe get get that carp. And yeah, we need salt. To think that we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. That Bertram will stop at nothing to terrorize the Orkles. But it's been three days and still he won't surrender. Bertram knows he's done for, yet he continues defending his lair with such doggedness that we have no choice. That's why I need mercenaries. All right. He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. Cool, I like that. Um, uh, there is a bit of a problem, though, my friend, because it very much seems like we're... It very much seems like we do have a problem here. We Everybody is uh, sick and ill. We need uh, ailments and medicine for now. Okay, so Woodchopper, plus one strength. Uh, he's currently a Tinkerer. And a good Tinkerer. He is. Wow, that is fun. They actually make wood shopping <laughs> a fun game. Good, but you can only wood shop once. Which, again, I I get it. I will never help the refugees after <clears throat> what happened. They are all just like Bertram, lawless scum. Well, I get it that you are upset, but. It's not uh, really my problem at the moment. Okay, so we're getting... We're getting a lot of rewards here and it turns out it's actually not bad to hover over all of the options. Nothing is beneath it. We can't open that golden chest, but it would be great to see what's in there. <clears throat> the loot of chests so far have been nothing short but stellar. Okay, we have a quest there, but we need medicine. Stand back, peasants. These valuable commodities are only for those who can afford them. Wow, really good loot, but we can't afford any of that. Well, we have one medicine. Uh, we definitely won't sell that. Lockpicks go for five, but lockpicks unfortunately take iron ore and I want to keep them.
Christine Fangs, which we have plenty of, go for zero. Hmm. Yeah. It feels like we have nothing of value to offer for someone else. More ore. Our biggest problem at the moment are the diseases. Good. In terms of camping here, JP Pauly always had been our tinkerer. <clears throat> so. We could get a torch. Torch can illuminate the darkest places. Carry it offhand. Might as well craft one. Yeah, we can't afford to get uh, to get rid of any of uh, the iron ore because we definitely need that a little bit later and currently we have no further recipes here uh, the one thing that i can do is often we now have deals three to five burning them all units in an area and applies burning to them six uses well that's not too bad And it fits uh, the scheme. By the way, this unit can't deal critical hits and has a effect uh, has an infection where it can only eat meat. That already is bad. Constitution reduced to half. He's at twelve hit points. That's a one shot. Can only eat meat as well. Damage taken doubled. Holy, what is happening? His own damage halved, and he also has the meat infection. Well, we don't have uh, salt, and we definitely need salt. With plenty of meat. One, two, three, one ale, and a couple of mushrooms. Danger levels 80%. Oh, I don't feel like fighting now. Can we maybe get some salt from you guys? Might I interest you, my humble wares? My Powder, cloth, coal, lockpicks, fishing hooks. Well, all of that is cool. I appreciate you. No salt, however. Let's see, what are the danger levels here? Average, okay, cool, much better. We regain four happiness. We also gain three Valor points and are now full. Companions are pleased, um, just shy of the 15 happiness for extra For, uh, for extra uh, experience. In terms of crafting armor, I assume we need a proper uh, sm uh, a proper smith, something in here in Stromkamp. The game is good so far. I'm really enjoying myself, although there are a lot of problems that of course you wouldn't really know about when you're playing it the first time such as how bad actual diseases are 
Wow. 17 armor, 2 movement, 1 willpower. Can I hire you? Cannot be captured. Okay, well. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack. Good. If I recall correctly, there was hammer for hire. Find a blacksmith and bring him here. Well, we got a blacksmith. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. There we go. Here's your blacksmith. I asked you for a blacksmith and you bring me a refugee on the run from an Edoranian count. Oh, very well then. But he'll have to work out back. And don't you go telling anyone he's here. Now, take this and keep your mouth shut. Cool, the fate of children. Uh, we got uh, 20 out of 100. The progress in these scenarios to explore the region and purchase information. Uh, we got 30 raw materials, which is great because that helps us fixing our armor. And there is plenty more. Well, the materials actually will help us uh, out to maybe even, maybe even sell them. Uh, who was the smith? All right, cook. What was blacksmith again? A thief, tinkerer, angler, woodcutter. I wish they could learn two of uh, these traits. Memory is the cook and the blacksmith, so I would say she goes forward with it. Now, what can we create or what can we not create? Guard 18 and 26 armor, heavy armor. Well, we need more iron ore for that. That is good as well. We again need more iron ore and more cloth. Funny how basic armor rags is still better than anything else that we do have. Small shield would be good. All right, so really what we need is a ton of leather, a lot of iron ore. 26 armor is crazy. Eighteen armor, twenty-two armor, twenty-six armor. But the guard is the more important piece. The guard actually helps you reduce all of the armor, and the heavy armor, albeit uh, being a little bit slower, our frontline could really benefit from it. So we need cloth, and we need a lot of iron ore. Good. Now to the point where, unfortunately, we will yet again need to choose who is going to be the ap apothecary. No, I think Dilly was uh, the one, besides being an apprentice thief, he was the alchemist. All right, medicine, how do we get snow iris? Because we have everything else, we just don't have snow iris. Can we please buy Iron some here? Actions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. <laughs> wow. We need a lot of snow iris. 
just to heal our wounds. Do you think we can get that at the market, maybe? Those refugees. Wait, wait, wait. That could be salt, right? Those refugees. All right. I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We gotta be careful not to buy, uh, to sell too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got enough salt now, so that solves one problem. You touch it, you buy it. There is more salt here. <clears throat> come, come, take a look at my wares. Rope, wood, hemp, leather. Well, at least we can buy leather here. Great stuff. I absolutely like what I'm seeing. The problem is I have no idea about the recipes so far. All right, what else can we learn? Um, I think restoration isn't bad because it will give us less uh, upkeep to repair our armor. So at the moment I'm just investing in sort of staying alive. And I need I need those snow uh, flowers for medicine. My humble wares, my good sirs. Mm, no. Where could those snow flowers be is a good question. So if I look at the map. I mean, they must be somewhere, right? We have just not found it yet. The refuge leader has caught wind uh, of what you are doing. Okay, well, there is another quest for us. My problem is we're currently not in the best shape. So if we continue exploring, we risk uh, simply getting overrun. And we have another problem because very soon we have no money left. Yeah, we're not stealing. Pick up hemp, that's good. Anything else we can pick up for free? Uh, Polly, I think, was our woodcutter. That's one, and two, and three. And four and five. Okay, cool. I am terribly sorry, Mercy. This is but a simple sword. Good, I think we need the money of uh, the next job. So, what we're going to do is we need to fight, we need to go to uh, that extra. That extra gig there. You in my wares, my I would be sons. very interested, but your humble wares unfortunately are so expensive that we cannot afford them. Good. Next up, we're going to go here and we're hopefully taking down the enemies. Still looking for for those flowers. Might I interest you in my humble web? Cherries. Lots of merchants here, but we have no option to actually buy something. We're broke and disease ridden.
All right, poor fellows died along the road. And I think these guys up there are our bounty. <clears throat> so let's start with them. Need 140. We need better armor and we most certainly need better weapons as well. Good, here we go, finally, a confrontation after dabbling around for a while. Good, they are surprised. Damage taken increased by 10%, but they have leader's protection and wow. This is supposed to be an easy fight. Well, let's hope we can get his armor because heavy armor would be awesome. Got a henchman here and got a raider there. Couple of traps. Namri can get here. And Dili G could uh, go here. So the idea is we're going to attack them. We have we have the advantage. Moves up, protects us, very good. And we are very much engaging. Dilly moves over here. And unfortunately his damage is halved at the moment, so not much he can do. Moving up into melee, okay, all right, fantastic. JP Pauly's damage is taken is doubled, uh, so I wonder. Yeah, unfortunately we're not the last to act, which means he will take one hit regardless. But we're going to get some uh, riposts in. There we go, that worked like a charm. Move up. Hit. Very well. And then hide behind Namri. End of turn. Good. Now the damage is going to come. Moving out of uh, reach here. Very good, that's a solid hit. Uh, no one is engaged in combat, so that would not do anything. End of turn. Namri. This lasts for two rounds, so I'm wondering, are we still impacted by it? Yes, protection, damage reduced by 30%.
I think we're just going to engage with uh, Veritard. Although, moving around and getting her. And on the other hand, Endress doesn't have the hit points. We gotta engage him. And just accept that that is going to be our fate for now. What we can do though is can have a proper engagement from here. There we go. Like it. We're taking some damage in return. He moves up and then moves back in and out. And there we go. The fight is swinging into our favor. New round is starting. We're using our um, points for solid uh, reapers. And some extra damage. Move up. Handle this guy like a pro. Could do some extra damage, but that would also deal damage and burning to us like that can we oh yeah we can hum 10 and burning oh wow i can tell you anders doesn't doesn't really uh, have a lot of hit points but he deals uh, damage like an absolute madman and namri can finish him sword to the tummy <clears throat> that'll teach him a valuable lesson Where is his armor? Are you kidding me? I mean, that's great. That's also good. We don't need the remains, but I want his armor. Still not enough medicine. We need three more. All right, so. Well, at least we're making a little bit of progress. This here is a one-handed maze. Can Nemery equip that? Cannot equip that type of weapon. Why? Can Anders equip it? No, it's a strength weapon anyways. Well, that is one of the downsides. I mean, look, with all due respect, we just killed a guy in medium armor. Are you telling me that none and absolutely none of his armor is salvageable? That seems a bit weird. Okay, Dilly gets level three. And for starters, we can upgrade Dexterity, which will massively upgrade his damage. I like what I'm seeing. So, recoil shot deals 5 to 7 damage to the target, knocks them back by 2 meters and applies slowdown for one round. Uh, that could be helpful for just crowd controlling. All allied animals next to the target attack them uh, with an attack of opportunity. Well, we don't have those yet, maybe later. Targets a specific area, performs an attack of opportunity against the first three enemies. Oh, oh! I like that one. Light armor, light armor, light armor. Uh, the shot back is good. I like this here for just letting enemies kite through an area. It depends a bit on how large the area is.
it really depends a bit on how large the area is this here is immediately helpful shoot uh, move back and slow them down this here is more a damaging skill but i tell you what we don't have any crowd controller yet uh, typically you do have a mage of sorts um, but this here seems to be like a very solid medieval only game so i will take hunter the recoil shot and my idea is that enemy melee combatants therefore can be maybe held back for one or even two rounds and if they can't deal damage that means we uh, can uh, clean up the rest without any recourse we're still dealing four to seven damage so we're back to the beginning um, kind of damage but the cool part is if we weren't um, if we weren't uh, fractured oh okay cool well we can take fractured away which at least helps us now to deal enough damage the one thing that i cannot afford is if we cannot if we cannot um, sustain enough damage in the fights we're unfortunately going to die so i need to play extra careful in the next few fights Good word. We do need an extra Valor point. Two raw metal um, metals are good. Uh, wait a second. JP Pauly uh, needs to switch back to Tinkerer. Yes, please. Can the horse do something? No, it can just stand there. Camp chest, that would cost our entire iron ore. You can assign your ponies uh, to the throat uh, to improve their comfort extra carrying capacity that's good but it costs 10 salt and at the moment we don't have that um, instead our cook namri will cook us a nice little grilled carp cool and then whilst we're at it let's do some bread Very good, cool. Which brings us to meat. Uh, we almost have no alcohol left. A little bit more of that. And I start to understand that if you uh, put another uh, food in here now I thought maybe I've just tricked myself I thought if you put another uh, different food than the others in here you get kind of a meal bonus good camp has got an extra re resources we have now grand, uh, gained more renown or influence. But the team is still underpaid and we need money. Well, wait a second. We just almost got money, right? Yeah, that uh, we we should have uh, we should be paid. I tell you what, um, might be a bit counterintuitive, but let's go back to the uh, to the town, get our payment, get some new uh, jobs, and hopefully also some new ale, um, as in medicine.
All right. Um, let's start with memory. Moves to here. Gives the front line a protection. Moves up. Slashes the wolf. And end of turn. Move up. Kill. And uh, move back. Move up. Massive hit. And yeah, why not? Let's go with Wrath. Oh yeah. Do you want to let the opponents uh, run from the battlefield? Oh no, we don't want that. They messed us over. Let's slow them down. I want to see how good the slowdown works. There we go. Wolves are an easy kill and we got three wolves the reason why i want to kill them is the wolf we need five of those remains to um to recruit that guy up at the rat's nest On top of it we got some new level constitution plus two is great Carrying capacity, 4 health. Oh yeah, that's good. I mean, he could use some more strength, but how can I say no to constitution? The value, uh, the one stat that I value the most. Alright, the unit gains deflection if they are engaged in combat. You gain damage taken. Ooh, okay, defensive stance. Damage taken of the next attack is reduced by 70%. That's good. Every time uh, an attack hits several enemies, I get a temporary um, bonus. So the question is, uh, do we want more, um, more spenders or more generators of these temporary Valor points? And I think we need more... Um, we need more... Uh, generators of Valor because we already have Ovation here as a spender a good one actually and this one would also be fantastic uh, damage taken reduced by 70% for one hit effectively means it's the same as healing if they are engaged in combat you gain well hmm you even get it back and it seems to not cost anything i'll take it i'll take it is it a passive skill instant base action and if if they are getting engaged you get one valor okay cool that's actually a pretty damn good uh, ability do you have some of the flowers that we need Mountain Willow. No, it was Snow Something Something. Nah. Alright, we're going to fish, and then we're going to go back and end the episode. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured out how to get that uh, that extra ingredient. 
Anders is the fisher here. Let's go, baby. Good, we're getting, uh, we're getting somewhere. This will meet our diet dietary requirements of meat. We unfortunately also lost yet another, uh, another bait. So we will need to create more. Okay, so here are a couple of things. Number one, might you be looking for work? Collect bounties. Is to ensure that all service here is your reward. Oh, fan effing tastic! Oh yeah, well, thank you. Finally, uh, I would like to southwest. Accept that. Yes, looks about right. And that looks about right as well. That's two for one. I'm getting the hang of it slowly but surely. And another one. Cool. I finally figured out how we're, we are making money. Feel free to come back often. There's always folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to spend too much. No, we're not buying any of that stuff. First things first. Into the apothecary. And unfortunately, I hate to do it, but... One, two, three, four, five. And there goes a lot of our money. And I'll just keep some crowns. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold. Okay, so treat injury. Well, that's an infection. How do we how do we treat an infection? My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be can sure heal a plague infected wound. Well, we need to make some money now. Unf <laughs> Unfortunately, we have the same plague. Well, we're yeah, we're, we're getting that uh, as time passes. I need. I need more ore, better armor, everything. We've just barely made it out. We got, we have medicine, which is a plus. We healed everyone, which is yet another plus. I appreciate that. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Well, that is coal. But we don't need coal for any, uh, for anything. Or is it the same as iron? I don't think so, right? It does not substitute for it. Nope. We gotta collect more iron, guys. Cloth, pottery, amber. Well, I can tell you, this is a great p uh, place to end today's episode. In the middle of the rain, middle of a rainy night let's just double check is there anything else that we could have learned no but um, look so far we're at least making ends neat. Um, the only downside that we do have is this nasty um, infection where we can only eat meat but yeah well it is what it is uh, we will uh, go through that 
we have finally found out how to make money, which is good. And we are level three mostly. So now we can uh, take all of uh, the uh, big fat bounties there, go back, cash in, and then hopefully get an armor upgrade. That's the idea for the next one or two episodes. If you want to ca um, cash in as well, click that money uh, thumbs up button and see if you can get some in-game currency. Thanks for watching and see you in two days. Bye-bye.